Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Macdroid. I've played a little bit since last time. Got up to rank 4, so let's keep going in the right direction. Okay, got our mech warper. Always excellent. Uh, and I think we're gonna toss everything else. Oh, keep that. And... Mm, okay, this could work. Now, let's think about it. So if you coin out the mech warper, then turn two. Oh, on turn two we have this for three mana. Turn to innovate. Ah, I'm not really sure. Maybe we should. Um... Oh, another mech warper. All right. So if you play two mech warpers this turn for three mana, then we have the coin. He might kill one mech warper with running this plus hero power into it. And we can coin out Shredder next turn with the other mech warper. Alright, so if we do this and this. And alright, if he doesn't kill it, I mean, then we can just save the coin. And then end turn. But I have a feeling he will use hero power this turn together with his two uh, minions. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, Ida is fine, really. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, he does kill one of them. Kind of like I assumed he would. And then we will just use our coin here. Play that. And... Then how do we do it? Do we... <laughs> do we want to kill that? I think I kind of do. Right, let's do that. We already got some use out of this. Then we just gotta hope we draw something we can actually play here. Ah, uh, come on. Let's get a spider tank. Swipe. Not really what I was looking for, but... I think we'll just do that. We're so, like... Doing good on tempo, so it's okay if you have one turn that's a little slow here. He's still doing fine. And hey, we got some damage on. You have to swipe for when this one is opened up. Like next turn. Oh, I see. Come on, knives hit the face. Face! No! Aww. Do? <laughs> um, that would be great if I had a minion. I guess I'm not swiping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I love how he played all those minions before he saw what came out of it. I'm pretty sure, right? Come on, another minion. Oh, that's not what I had in mind, but it's fine. He only has one card, so even though... Things are not really so strong this turn. We have some pretty good minions coming up and he's uh, running out. Alright. Ah, head. just a knife juggler. That's not scary. We'll just play a sky golem here. Right, he has a very aggressive deck, but... Just couldn't really get the stuff going, I think. Let's play that. Hey, I guess I shouldn't talk too soon. It's not over yet. He could refill his hand with an Ancient of Law and somehow make it all play a Dr. Boom. Huh. Alright. Hmm. Maybe... I kind of want to clear the board here, right? But the problem is... We can't play anything with the swipe, but honestly, he has so few cards left. So I think that's probably the safe option to take. It would just be so much better if we had something... Ah, that we could actually do. Hmm. And we could just play an Ancient of Law and go for the board clear next turn, because then we can play swipe plus something else. But then again, if we clear the board now, 
Then we could do swipe. Yeah. It's probably safest to just clear the board. Because... Yeah, I think that was probably his one major big threat in this deck because it just seems like he has such an aggressive deck. So just getting rid of that now. While well, we still have 22 life, so you can't like come for us down. It's probably for the best. Oh right, especially if he can't do anything here. I wonder if that's like uh, the exact combo he has in hand right now. That might be exactly it, since he didn't do anything. Um, I want to play two four drops, but just kind of weak. He will just draw some cards and stuff then. Still uses mostly most of our mana. Oh, innovate! You know what? I'm gonna use it. Get the spider thing up. I like the fact that we both have two decks that are a little different. I don't really see a lot of a lot of druid decks with a uh, imp master and stuff nowadays. But it seems to be doing okay. Fun. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure he has the combo actually. So we just need to keep the board clear every turn. Don't want to give him an opening to kill us. So let's just. Ah, you know what, let's just draw again. And then we will, uh... Kill that. Go for the face with this one. We have plenty of life, as long as we clear the board. Oh, too bad we can't get our own Savage Roll. I would like to finish this game. Just so we can, uh... You know, I'm just scared of messing up somehow. Oh, he didn't even... Okay. Do we have lethal? I don't think we do. But I'm not gonna waste any time here. So, because he seems to just want the game to end without conceding somehow. Pretty sure we're gonna win next turn. <laughs> yeah? Alright, what do we have? Where shall I Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> well played. Right. Okay, I won't complain. That worked out quite well. Uh, let's play another game. And keep on uh, winning. Not facing so many paladins anymore. More druids are getting some popularity. I, I always have such a hard time defining a druid deck because... Well, I guess most of them are some kind of mid-range, right? I mean, even my deck, it's a mid-range deck, really. Just with a bunch of mechs. Expecting to see demons and twilight drakes. We got some pretty good stuff. Got a mech wall, but innovate. Let's hold on to that. Tempting to keep the swipe. I mean, nah, let's look for minions. I mean, if he's like a handlock, that's what we want to get early on. Keep up the growth, though. Pretty nice. No matter which warlock you're against, it's useful. Handlock, demon luck, zoo. Keeper is good against all of it. And very nice hand. Let's uh, coin out the aspirant here. Uh, could innovate out a make warper, but I don't really see that helping us that much. Let's just end turn. Well, I'll just hold on to it in case you want to get something big out early. Okay, looks like we're dealing with some kind of hand luck. Rank two. Okay. Um, if you play that, mm, ah, let's just play a spider tank. That'll be fine. Might want to be able to get, yeah, probably gonna coin, uh, innovate out the ancient of law sometime. Okay. I'm always concerned when I see those because it's like you're gonna, you're gonna shadow flame me, aren't you? 
but what can I really do about it? I guess it's he still is. Like if he does have it, it'll still be two cards. We've already got something out of it. Unfortunately, if this one dies, we won't have the five mana next turn, which could be pretty annoying because we don't. Well, let's see what happens. Shadow Flame kills all those. Then it's our turn. We have four mana. Oh, okay. Well, we can silence that if we so desire. Is that the best option here? Let's go for it. I must safeguard the land. Silence that. And... Yeah, let's just kill it. And then we'll go for the face. Take him down to 15. Hope we can get some combo pieces soon. We already have an innovate, so we could go for an early combo if we just had a combo, but well, we don't. So. So now he kills that, which means that we have 5 mana next turn, which means we can either play the Acid Drake or the Law. Shields up! Hmm. Oh, it's a force of nature. Okay, let's get an uh, Ancient of Law out. Draw some cards. Also like the fact that it has uh, five light. Makes it sturdy. All right, I'll just... Hmm, do I want to take that out? Not really, I want to take it out with this one next turn if possible. Let's just end turn. And next turn we can play Sky Golem potentially. Yeah, okay, we have some pretty good cards here. Right, Hellfire. Actually I don't I think some warlocks don't even run Shadow Flame nowadays. I don't really see it much. I haven't looked into the popular handlock net, net decks, but I just haven't seen many Shadow Flames lately. You all run Hellfire of course. You need that to deal with patrons, for example. Alright, let's just kill this and play Sky Golem. Okay. Well, now we can get some cheap uh, Molten Giants if he has them. He could even get them for free if he life taps first. That could actually be kind of disastrous if he also has a, a heal and a Sun Fairy Protector. I, could <laughs> I hope he doesn't have two Molten Giants, Sun Fairy Protector, and an Antique Heal Bot. Oh, right. No, no, he actually wouldn't be able to do all of that now that I think about it. Oh, no Molten Giants. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, then... Well, we need to look for our combo pieces, really. Let's just draw some cards. And then we'll go for the face, since he apparently does not have any Molten Giants. At least in his hand. Of course, he could top deck it, but... Not gonna concern myself with that. Okay. Oh, well, there's Shadow Flame. Oh, well, the Raxus is not too scary here, especially since we actually have lethal. So let's just do that. And uh, kill him. Okay, it's going very well. Let's play a third game. Let's see if we can go free for free back on track here after my well, last video was less than ideal. I feel like some of the plays I made were, were just not optimal. But hey, we all make mistakes, right? Let's play a third game. And... What do we have? Not a warlock, it's a different one. A golden one. I must protect hmm, you only really need one free drop, so... I think I'm gonna go with the spider tank. Okay. Mechwoba, spider tank, looking decent. There's that savage roll I was looking for last game, but hey, we won anyway. Doesn't matter, then. Well, 
help. Oh, okay, so this time we're dealing with a sewer lock, it looks like. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm about to kill it then. I don't want to leave that on the board, because that means that he could play, like, um... Like, the, he, Warlocks have so many ways to boost their minions, right? So, if I played the mech warp, it looks like I could make a good trade, but I'm just afraid that... Well, he would boost up his minion and kill it anyway, so... Hmm, what do we do here? We have wild growth. That's interesting. But... I think I would rather play the spider tank here. Just, I mean, we don't... It doesn't fit the curve. I would have totally played a wild growth last turn, but... On turn three... And... Okay! Arjun Square? Oh, Void Wolf. Alright. Well, that's a little concerning. Oh boy. Oh no, I wish I had a s I don't even know. Like if he has a bunch of one attack minions, which he probably does with this one on the board. He really should get rid of it. So I think Right, okay, you know what? Actually, this is fine. We do this, and then we just kill that with this one. And then we are fine. Yeah. Okay. Not so happy about that knife juggler, though. Oh, no. <laughs> well, definitely not happy with two of them. Ah, those knives. Bit nice. Alright. So I'm thinking Mech Wolver plus the Shredder. I wanna play a Wild Growth, but we just don't have the time to spare here. We need stuff on the board now. So let's play this. Especially since we don't have a swipe. If I had a swipe I could stall a little bit, but Without it, it's too dangerous. Still quite dangerous. I'm concerned. Well, are you gonna get rid of the Mechwolver? Might want the Creeper into it and see if you can get lucky with knives. He got pretty lucky with them last turn, so... Might be worth a shot. Nope, he's going for the face. He's gonna try and rush us down. Alright, so what do we do here? We obviously need to get rid of the knife juggler, but what do I want to play? Maybe just play these two. Um, and then kill the knife juggler. And... Uh, Play Wild Growth. We have a uh, Acid Drake, so... And... You know what, let's uh... Let's just kill this one. I didn't want to kill the Void Crawler here because I just wouldn't... The thing is, at, at the same time I wanted to kill it because what if he doesn't have a demon, it would be a perfect time to kill it, but on the other hand, I just didn't have any way of really dealing with a big minion coming out of it. He's not trading it, and that, that's kind of making me think that he doesn't have a good demon, because otherwise I think he would be concerned that I would silence. A double savage roll. Hmm. Not quite lethal though. He's asked way too much life. He's been acid drake first. We need to do some board clearing here. Right, 
right, kill that. Go for the face. No. Maybe. Well, let's see what happens here. I have a hard time really saying what I want to do. Okay. Alright. Wish I had a swipe. That would be so helpful. And this is 6, 12, 16, 20 damage. 21. <laughs> We're actually not that far off. I think I want to play this one and see if he can draw a swipe. Because that's what I really want. Okay. Okay, that's, this is working too. You know what, let's um, make sure he doesn't get a nasty demon here. Kill that. Hope I get a taunt actually. Ah, okay. That could be a lot worse. And let's get rid of this one too. Gets a 1 1, but that's okay. Now, we have a pretty scary board. We still have our double savage roll. As long as we don't die, we stand a pretty good chance. Would still be. I'd still love to see a swipe though. Swipe Sky Golem next turn. In case we don't don't have lethal. But I'm thinking he kills at least the Acid Drake if he doesn't go for the. Well, if he doesn't kill us this turn, which it doesn't look like he will. Alright, so this one is out. He has a taunt, so we can't really kill him with that. Alright, he still has 27 life. But I'm starting to feel a lot more confident about the game. I'm really happy I got to silence that white caller just in case he had some big nasty demon in his hand. Of course, I have no idea whether he did or not. And I was actually thinking he probably didn't, but it definitely made me feel a lot safer. Just in case he had like Mel Gamas or something. That could really have been quite nasty. Okay. Uh, well, he has six mana and two cards and didn't play anything. That's a little interesting. Well, that's 6, 12, 22. Nah, nah, we can't. We need to get a through that. Okay, so let's... I'm actually thinking... No. Nah. Oh, maybe I just... Maybe we should just play super careful. Because I think we can win next turn. So I don't want to take any damage. Just in case. Like, he has holding on to two cards. That's kind of making me a little scared that it's some kind of crazy combo stuff. So let's just keep our life total as high as possible. Because, like, how can we lose unless he has some crazy combo? Alright, do we have lethal now? Uh, I mean, we need to kill Malganis first, but... Alright, we should double Savage Raw, then... Um... That into that, and then we have... Oh, we could even... Oh, that into that. That's 8. 8, 16. Plus 20, 28. Yeah, I think we got it if we do... This and uh, run that into that, 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 and that. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>